in the heart of the can. Air is rich with the scent of incense and offerings, a testament to the people's devotion. The altar, surrounded by a reverent crowd, stands as a beacon, a spiritual connection between the divine and the earthly. Each sacrifice, a symbol of repentance and humility, reflects a deeper longing for communion with the divine. The flames consuming the offering ascend like prayers, merging the tangible with the spiritual in a profound act of worship. The altar, ablaze with holy fire, becomes a focal point of worship. Where sin makes mercy through sacred rites, each offering brought forth, whether a lamb, grain, or incense, is a gesture of surrender and acknowledgement of God's supreme authority. Through these offerings, the Israelites experience a tangible expression of God's grace and forgiveness. The smoke swirling upwards carries with it their hopes, confessions, and heartfelt worship in an intricate dance of faith and divine response. These ancient rituals foreshadow the ultimate sacrifice of Christ, embodying the depth of God's love and redemption. The shadow of the cross looms over these rites, a promise of a more profound deliverance and an eternal covenant sealed by divine love. This smoke rise is a dream's a story of redemption and atonement a visual testament to the people's unwavering faith and God's unwavering faithfulness. In this sacred space, the blend of solemnity and celebration reflects the duality of human experience. The sorrow for sin and the joy of forgiveness captured within the rituals of sacrifice. The ritualistic slaughter of the animals, while Sanda is imbued with a sense of holy purpose, each drop of blood a reminder of the cost of sin and the need for atonement. Amidst these rites, the community gathers not just as observers, but as participants in a divine drama, each person playing a role in the unfolding narrative of God's redemptive plan. This space becomes a threshold between heaven and earth where the veil between the divine and the mortal is momentarily lifted, offering a glimpse into the heart of the eternal. The priests, garbed in sacred vestments, serve not only as mediators, but as symbols of God's presence, guiding the community through the labyrinth of ancient rituals towards a deeper understanding of the divine. In this convergence of the human and the divine, the Israelites find not only forgiveness, but also a profound sense of identity and purpose rooted in their relationship with the Holy God. The sacrificial altar stands as an enduring reminder of the covenant between God and his people, a covenant marked by blood, fire, and smoke, yet anchored in divine love and mercy. Every day life pulsates with the rhythm of divine commands guiding the community in righteousness and justice. As they move through their day, the Israelites embody a commitment to live in a manner pleasing to God. Their actions painting a living fresco of devotion. From their homes to their fields, the Israelites embody a living tapestry of God's statutes and precepts. Each interaction, be it in trade, worship, or communal gatherings, is a vibrant thread in the fabric of a society founded on divine principles. Social justice and ethical integrity form the bedrock of their society, reflecting God's heart for his people. In the marketplace, the courts and in their homes, 
righteousness and compassion shine forth as guiding lights in their communal work. These divine instructions transcend time, calling believers today to a life of obedience and moral integrity. The ancient paths laid out in Leviticus continue to echo through the ages, urging hearts towards a journey of holiness and truth. In following these laws, the community weaves a rich narrative of faithfulness and dedication to God's will. Like a renaissance painting, their lives reveal the depth of human experience touched and transformed by the divine hand. The lives of the Israelites become a living canvas. Each law observed a stroke of color, adding depth and texture to their collective story. The fabric of their society is dyed with the hues of divine instruction, coloring their world with the shades of moral and spiritual depth. And their obedience. The Israelites find not only structure and order, but also a profound sense of identity. Each command followed is a step towards fulfilling their divine destiny, a journey of becoming a people set apart for God's purposes. As they navigate the complexities of life, the Levitical laws serve as a compass, guiding their moral and ethical decisions. These instructions form the backbone of their societal structure, ensuring a community grounded in values that reflect the character of God. The ritualistic aspects of their worship embedded in these laws are not mere ceremonial, but deeply symbolic acts. They connect the Israelites to a legacy of faith, a lineage that traces back to the very heart of God's relationship with humanity. These laws, while specific in their instructions, speak to universal truths about the human condition. They address themes of purity, justice and devotion, resonating with the timeless quest for meaning and connection with the divine. In their adherence to these divine directions, the Israelites give a portrait of communal harmony and individual piety. Their society becomes a testament to the power of living. Under God's governance, a demonstration of faith in action. The narrative of their daily lives interwoven with divine decrees becomes a story not just of a people, but of a divine human relationship that's historic. That celebrates the sacredness of everyday life, sanctified by the touch of God's commandments this tapestry of life, guided by the laws of Leviticus, stands as an enduring reminder of God's presence in the minutia of daily existence. It challenges believers in every age to see their lives as a canvas for God's work, a space where the divine intersects with the mundane. Within the tabernacle's hallowed walls, Priests carry out their holy duties with reverence and awe. Their movements reflective of the intricate patterns seen in Gothic stained glass, each action a piece of a larger divine tapestry. The sacred rituals they perform are a profound mediation between a holy God and his chosen people, just as light filters through stained glass, casting vibrant stories across stone. These rites bridge the divine and the earthly realms. Their careful adherence to God's commands exemplifies a deep commitment to serving the divine purpose. Each gesture, each word spoken, is like a hue in a grand window, illustrating stories, dedication, and divine wisdom. 
these priestly acts underscore the sanctity of their role as spiritual leaders and intercessors in the kaleidoscope of colored light. Their sacred duties shine as beacons of spiritual guidance, illuminating the path for the faithful. The legacy of these priests inspires modern spiritual leaders to serve with integrity and devotion. Just as the stained glass endures through ages, casting stories and truths anew, so does the timeless call of the sacred service resonate across generations. Amid the sacred atmosphere, each priest becomes a living emblem of divine service, their actions reflecting the intricate beauty and solemnity of their calling, much like the detailed artistry of Gothic windows. In my rituals, rich in symbolism and in spiritual depth, become a visual prayer. Echoing the divine human relationship, each offering prayer and blessing is a vibrant piece of the spiritual mosaic that forms the heart of their worship. In their service, the priests embody a tapestry of faith and dedication, weaving together the threads of tradition and divine instruction. Their role transcends mere function, becoming a dance of light and shadow, faith and mystery. The tabernacle, illuminated by their sacred work, resonates with the timeless narrative of God's presence and providence. It stands as a beacon, much like the illuminating stories told through the stained glass, narrating the ongoing story of God among his people. In this holy service, the priests mirror the spiritual journey of all believers, each called to reflect God's light in the world. Their service in the tabernacle becomes a metaphor for the spiritual vocation of all who follow the divine path. The sanctity of their service reaches beyond the walls of the tabernacle, touching the lives of the community. It becomes a source of inspiration and guidance, a reminder of the ever-present divine in the midst of the mundane. Through their devout service, the priests become vessels of divine grace, channeling the sacred into the ordinary much like the way light transforms glass into a story of color and divinity. Their lives become a living sermon, preaching the gospel of sacrifice, devotion, and holy living. This divine service, painted in the colors of faith and reverence, calls to each heart the importance of serving in one's divine calling. It's a reminder that in the grand tapestry of faith, each thread, each life, contributes to the unfolding story of God's love and presence in the world. The ordination ceremony is a grand tapestry of the rope. Splendor, rich in symbolism, and divine gravity. Each element, from the anointing oil to the sacred garments, is imbued with spiritual significance reflecting the majesty and seriousness of their calling. As the priests are anointed, there is a palpable sense of entering a divine narrative. The oil, fragrant and flowing, marks them not merely as men, but as vessels of a higher purpose, consecrated for sacred service. The ritual, steeped in ancient tradition, unfolds like a Baroque painting, vibrant and alive with spiritual energy. The priests now set apart and embark on a journey of divine service, bearing the weight of their sacred responsibilities. This ceremony is not just an event of the past, but it goes into the present, reminding us of the reverence and dedication required in spiritual leadership. 
in this moment like a Baroque masterpiece. He speaks of the dramatic and transformative power of God's call. In the ordination of these priests, we see a powerful representation of being called and equipped by God. Their consecration serves as a dramatic reminder of the divine calling that lies upon all who serve in God's kingdom, a calling marked by sacrifice and splendor. Amid the solemn rites, the anointed priests stand as living symbols of divine service, their commitment meriting the opulent and emotive style of Baroque art. Each prayer and blessing uttered is a bus stroke from the vivid canvas of their spiritual journey. The ceremony, a fusion of sacred tradition and visual grandeur, mirrors the depth and complexity of the divine human relationship. As the anointing all consecrates each priest, it is as if each drop captures the light of God's presence, shining with a holy radiance. The ordination is a crescendo of spiritual emotion where the sacred and the earthly converge in a moment of profound transformation. Like the dynamic movements of a Baroque symphony, it resonates with the energy of spiritual renewal and commitment. But here's something. You know, I would say that the symphonies of this I am so bad or so completely designed our lives. This momentous occasion each gesture and symbol weaves a narrative of faith, calling, and divine destiny. Much like the evocative stories told the Baroque artist in the faces of the ordained. God's glory, each one a canvas upon which the story of divine calling and service is painted. Their journey echoes the dramatic interplay of light and shadow, of human frailty and divine strength, characteristic of Baroque art. The ordination ceremony, resplendent in its spiritual and aesthetic richness, serves as a reminder of the eternal nature of God's call to service, invites each believer to consider their own call to find their place in the unfolding narrative of faith and divine purpose. As the newly ordained priests step into their roles, they embody a living testament to the power of faith in action. Their lives, now dedicated to service, become a continuous act of worship. Each day, a stroke in the masterpiece of their divine vocation. In this sacred ritual, we are reminded that each calling, each act of service, is a part of a grander divine plan. The ordination becomes a symbol of the journey. Each believer undertakes an invitation to embrace the dramatic and transformative call to living a life for God. The pursuit of ritual purity is depicted with the solemnity and reverence of Eastern Orthodox iconography. Each act of purification is not merely a ritual, but a step towards spiritual wholeness, mirroring the divine human connection. In the meticulous observance of these laws, the Israelites embody a deep respect for the sacred and their adherence to purity codes, like the layers of me and icons, reveals a complex relationship between the earthly and the divine. These practices of purification, rich in symbolic meaning, are like the vivid imagery and icons, serving as windows into the divine. Through these rituals, the community engages in a continuous dialogue of sanctity and reverence the laws of ritual purity, while ancient, speak across time, urging believers today to consider the sanctity of their own lives. 
They are called to recognize and honor the sacred and the ordinary, to live in a way that reflects a part oriented towards God. And these acts of purification and unity narrate the story of ongoing sanctification and reverence, like the intricate art of iconography. Their lives become a canvas on which the sacred intermingles with the mundane, painting a portrait of a people seeking holiness. The observance of purity rituals infused with spiritual depth reflects a profound commitment to holiness. Each cleansing act, each separation and reunification is a tangible expression of seeking divine proximity, a journey mirrored in the rich iconography of the Eastern Orthodox tradition. As the Israelites engage in these rituals, they create a living icon, a representation of their ongoing quest for spiritual purity. The rituals, like the sacred icons, are gateways to experiencing the divine, serving as tangible connections to a holy God. The community's dedication to these laws is akin to the careful creation of an icon, where each line and color is purposefully placed to convey a deeper meaning. So too are their actions deliberate and meaningful, a conscious effort to align with God's holiness. Their rituals of purification become a spiritual discipline a way to continually align their hearts and lives with divine principles. Just as an icon is venerated and revered, so are these acts held in high esteem, seen as vital to maintaining a relationship with the holy. In observing these laws, the Israelites not only maintain ritual cleanliness, but also cultivate a mindset of reverence and awe. Each act of purification, each observance of the law, is an act of worship, a physical manifestation of their inner desire to be close to God. These acts of purity are not isolated religious exercises, but woven into the fabric of daily life, much like the iconic images are an integral part of Eastern Orthodoxy. They serve as constant reminders of the sacred, inviting the community to live in a continual state of awareness and devotion. In this act of ritual purity, Israelites exemplify a life of intentional spiritual living, where every act is a step toward sanctification, and their journey of purity is a vivid narrative of grief, portrayed in the symbolic and spiritual depth characteristic for Eastern Orthodox iconography. So, the fabric of community life is intricately woven with laws calling for holiness and ethical living. Each law, each practice is a thread in the tapestry of a society striving to embody God's righteousness, much like the narratives depicted in Romanesque fresco and their interactions and choices, that Israelites embody a deep commitment to upholding God's holiness. Their lives, marked by justice, compassion, and moral integrity, unfold like a series of interconnected frescoes, each revealing a facet of divine character. From justice in the courts, compassion for the needy, their lives mirror God's righteous character. The community in its pursuit of holiness becomes a living miracle, echoing the spiritual themes and symbolic storytelling of Romanesque art. These laws of holiness are not mere regulations, but a reflection of God's desire for a people set apart. Like the figures in fresco, the Israelites stand as symbols of a life dedicated to holiness a testament to their covenant relationship with God. As modern believers, these holiness laws call us to a higher standard of living 
echoing God's unchanging nature. In the contemporary world, these ancient precepts continue to inspire a life of moral excellence and spiritual integrity, resonating with the timeless appeal of Romanesque art. In adherence to these laws, the Israelites create a living presto of moral beauty where each action and decision reflects the pursuit of sanctity. Their daily existence becomes a dynamic canvas, depicting their unwavering dedication to God's standards. The community's devotion to holiness is not just an adherence to rules, but a heartfelt expression of their covenant with God. Their actions are strokes of pain on the canvas of life, symbolizing their commitment to a life led by divine principles. A beginning of the same camera and muscle, the essence of these holiness laws is captured in the depth and texture of Romanesque frescoes, where each figure in scene tells a story of devotion. The Israelites' journey of holiness mirrors these powerful narratives, filled with meaning and spiritual depth. As they navigate the, the complexities of maintaining ritual cleanliness and moral uprightness, their lives reflect the intricate designs of Romanesque art. Each moment of their existence is a piece of larger divine narrative, rich in symbolism and spiritual significance. The laws of holiness challenge the Israelites to transcend the ordinary, to live in a way that honors God in every aspect of their lives. This challenge is vividly portrayed in the Romanesque frescoes, where sacred stories are brought to life through vivid imagery and symbolic depth. The Israelites' commitment to these laws is not just about external compliance, but an internal transformation. Like the transformative power of art, these laws mold their character, shaping them into a community reflecting God's holy nature. Through their journey of holiness, the Israelites become living testimonies of God's desire for a holy people. Their lives, much like the enduring Romanesque frescoes become timeless stories of faith, moral integrity, and the pursuit of divine purity. In Leviticus, the redemption of offerings teaches about the sacred act of dedicating possessions to the Lord, highlighting the spiritual significance of offerings. These laws underscore the concept of stewardship, where the Israelites are reminded that all they possess is a gift from God and should be used for his glory. Uh, the process of redeeming these offerings symbolizes a profound respect for the sacred, allowing the Israelites to maintain a tangible connection to their spiritual commitments. Uh, this section emphasizes the balance between giving to God and the opportunity to reclaim dedicated items, illustrating the merciful and considerate nature of God's laws, the teachings serve as a reminder to modern believers of the importance of dedicating our lives and resources to God, reflecting our commitment and gratitude. The act of offering and redemption becomes a reflection of the Israelites' relationship with God, a dance of giving and receiving underpinned by divine grace and human faithfulness. In this process, the tangible becomes intertwined with the spiritual as possessions and offerings are transformed into expressions of worship and devotion to the Almighty. Each offering, whether retained or redeemed, speaks to the dynamic nature of our relationship with God, a relationship that is both giving and forgiving, demanding yet compassionate. These laws illustrate not just transaction, but a transformation 
Their work is offered to God becomes a symbol of the Israelites' trust in his provision and sovereignty. The concept of redemption here is multi-layered, speaking to the redemption of physical offerings, while also alluding to the greater redemption offered through God's grace and mercy. This divine system of all things and redemption underscores the sacredness of every aspect of life, teaching that all we have and are can be consecrated to the service of the Lord. In practicing these laws, the Israelites engage in a spiritual discipline that enriches their faith and deepens their understanding of God's loving kindness and his call for stewardship. As believers today reflect on these ancient practices, they find timeless principles of stewardship, sacrifice, and the sacred nature of offerings, resonating with the eternal call to dedicate all to the service of God. The redemption of offerings in Leviticus becomes a profound metaphor for the spiritual journey of every believer, a journey marked by the dedication of self and substance in the pursuit of divine communion and service. 